What's up, dudes? We're going to an auto parts store to get a new battery for a Ducati that my brother just bought. We went and picked it up this morning and he had to work, so I took it back with me in my truck. And uh, it's pretty sweet. It's a Ducati Monster S2R to 2006. Sounds good. Yeah, it runs. It just has a dead battery. So uh, we're gonna go pick up a battery from O'Reilly's. And then I also forgot to take the key from him, so we have to stop by his work and get a key. What is that? ZX14? Nice. That's cool. So once we get that battery in, charge it up, and uh, hopefully we can ride it in a little bit. Excited. It's only got, from what I know, I believe it's about 80 horsepower. Not the most horsepower, but it makes like 60 foot pounds of torque, which is pretty good. It's a beautiful, like, candy red with a white stripe. He actually bought two bikes. The bike that runs, and then he's got like a, a parts bike. It's carbureted, apparently. Or I think it's carbureted. I think it has like a smart carb. The previous owner said it's fuel injected, but it has a choke. So I think it's like an electronic carb. I, I, I have no idea. I could be wrong. I'm not really sure how it can be fuel injected, but it has a choke. Man, it's like dust coming off the semi truck up here. Very fine dust, but it is burning my skin. It's weird. It's like getting hit by a bunch of tiny, tiny rocks. Ow! It feels so weird. I'm getting sandblasted. Ow, look at that. Let's get past you. Thank you. I didn't realize how much batteries were, even for motorcycles, until I had to replace the battery in this thing. Like, I just, I had a LiPo battery in here before, and I just put a regular, you know, acid battery in, and uh, it was like 130 bucks. Crazy. The LiPo one was like 250 bucks. <laughs> it's uh, restricting my movements, kind of. My goodness. This first is going so slow on this off ramp. That is a Ferrari. No way. What's up, Ferrari? Ferrari convertible, too. What's up, my man? Lots of roundabouts in this town, which is funny because uh, people do not know how to use a roundabout. Okay, I think it's somewhere up here on the left. I think it should be in this parking lot, actually. It sure is. Hooray! We made it! Oh, we did it, dudes! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Beautiful O'Reilly Power Sports. I mean motor sports. I mean auto parts. I mean okay, goodbye. I'll turn you back on when we get the battery. Alright, so the guy didn't want to take the core yet, um, the old battery yet, because I wasn't sure if this one this new one's gonna fit. Cause it like wasn't coming up in their system. And then uh he went back there to look and then he found one that would that would work but it's just a little bit wider. So, uh, we're gonna go see if this battery works. And if it does work, I can come back and bring the old one and then I get $10, $10. So, we shall see. The only issue is I now have two heavy batteries in my backpack and it is like 30 pounds of weight. 
not the most comfortable thing when you're riding a motorcycle. Just won't be able to do wheelies too well. I think I went the wrong way. Did I go the wrong way? No. Did I go the wrong way? I don't know where I'm going, dudes. No, I went the right way. I just... I'm going the right direction. I just can't remember which road it's off of. We make it there eventually, though. I'm blue cheap. Kid, go. Oh yeah, bruh. I will never get over this V4 sound. It sounds so good. This is it, right? This is the parking lot. Was it? Was this the parking lot? I've only been to this place once. Yeah, it is. Sick. Dang, this guy just pulled in right where I was going to pull out. That's what she said. Alright, got the key. Got the key, dudes. Let's go. Put this battery in. And then rip it around a little bit. Oh, an R1. <laughs> I need it. I need an R1. Just imagine. Just cruising right now. 150 No wind noise barely You guys could actually hear what I'm saying. That's not just And then he still got plenty of power to go like this So, it has been like three weeks since the, that last footage you saw I filmed. Um, I came home with the battery and then I forgot that uh, I had to actually fill it up with acid and then charge it. So that took all day and uh, I've just been too busy and haven't, haven't had the chance to ride this bike. But here she is, Ducati Monster S2R. That's pretty cool looking. Um, definitely dig the red and white front white wheel uh, and then the single sided swing arm. It's pretty sick. Pretty cool man. She needs some love. She needs a little bit of work. Got the, the dual Zart or Zard. The dual Zard exhausts. Those are pretty cool. Sounds good. Just your regular V twin engine. Or I guess maybe it's an L twin. I don't really know. But two cylinder engine. And uh, let's go for a little ride. She's very smooth. This bike definitely needs some love. Like this isn't held on by anything. Both bolts are broken. Um, there's no rear brake, so that's fun. Just the front brake. So I have to be careful. It's kind of sketchy. Handlebar is a little tweaked to the left, so I'm going straight and it kind of feels weird. But otherwise, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a good bike. It runs smooth, it's got plenty of power and torque. It's just, uh, it's just a cool bike. Nothing too special about it. I will say, this seat is so comfortable. Probably the most comfortable seat I've ever sat on for a bike, especially a sport bike like this, or a naked bike, I don't really know what you call it. It's kind of cool, you know, you got your, 
your uh, your needle tachometer. Like I have my Aprilia, but then the speedometer is also a needle. It's not digital, which is kind of fun. Run, 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 run. Kind of bummed it doesn't have a rear brake because uh, it seems like this bike would be a fun, fun bike to wheelie. This bike's got de definitely plenty of power to rip up the canyon, uh, but it's just so much fun to cruise around on. It looks beautiful, like cafe style, especially if you got some clip-ons, which I actually, I think stock this bike does come with clip-ons, but the, um, the old owner put Pro Taper Carmichael bars on, straight bars. Same bars that were on my FC09 actually. For so very good, comfortable bars. Are you turning? Oh good, so I'm gonna go straight. I dig the red and white. After I saw this bike in person for the first time, it made me, like my immediate thoughts were, I have to make my Aprilia this color. So I've definitely been thinking about it. Imagine wrapping it this red color and then getting white rims. Oh my gosh, it would look so cool in that Aprilia Tono. Oh, a little tunnel rev. <laughs> ah, bless me. It's about a high of 104 degrees Fahrenheit today. So it's pretty warm, pretty toasty. It's only, it's, I think it's like 101 right now, so not too bad, but. Like there's a little, I, I'm just. Don't loop it. Man, that low end. Sounds like a Harley. The low RPMs are just like. Like a. Sounds pretty cool. It's actually pretty lean forward, but it's still very comfortable. I, I, I don't know what it would feel like with the clip-on handlebars. Even more lean forward, I'm sure. But like, the seat like kicks your butt out. It makes you lean forward, but the pegs aren't high up, really. They're pretty, they're pretty far forward, but not too far back. So it makes a very comfortable ride. Good little, good little bike to put around town. Let's get on the freeway. See if we can get this thing up to. It's actually not too bad. I don't know if that speedo is right, but it said 120. Obviously, it is a naked bike, so. Uh, the wind does not feel good on the freeway. What a fun bike. Oh, a debris. Oh, more debris, bad stuff, bad debris. What are you doing, Tesla? Wow. <laughs> that first gear is pretty short. Shifted a second and then first, and I used the same throttle, the rev match. And then when I, when I hit first, I just went The throttle feels so smooth and uh, snappy. There's not like a lag. And it's also not like super twitchy. It's just there when you need it. It's pretty nice. Wish all bikes were like that. Oh man, it's hot. It is indeed very hot. This thing is air cooled too. Got to remember that about that. It's air cooled. It does not like to sit in the heat. It needs to be moving. The 
This thing's supposed to have about the same amount of torque and horsepower as an FC07. And I feel like the top end has got a little more. But it is a bigger engine. <laughs> uh, I think this thing has a slipper clutch. I just remembered that. I tried to clutch it up and it didn't do anything. So that would make sense. Alright, well dudes, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, uh, feel free to check out my other stuff. That would be much appreciated. Love you guys. See you soon.